Hey guys, Regant here. Today I'm gonna explain to you what Rust is and how it works. In the past few weeks, Rust got popular through streamers like Shroud and it's got a real hype right now. Because I also got over 1k hours in Rust, I'm gonna give you a little overview of the game to help you with the decision to buy the game. Also, I'm gonna upload more Rust and other helpful videos for you. So don't forget to subscribe and like the video. In Rust you spawn naked on the beach with nothing except a rock and a torch in your hand which allows you to see in the dark. With the rock you start getting resources like wood, stone, metal and sulfur. After you spawn you have to try to survive by building your own base and by collecting and crafting clothes, medicines and weapons. If you die in Rust you lose everything you had on you when you died, but normally you have already stored some stuff in your base so you can instantly continue. Also you have to compete against other players and animals. If you kill animals, you can also get resources like fat, leather and meat out of them. You can hunt, grow plants, trade with other players or NPCs to move forward more quickly. Also you can connect to other players and form groups with them. You can explore monuments together, fight against scientists or even fight against other players for an airdrop because it often has many good weapons or other good stuff in it. The main aspect in Rust is the PvP. You fight against other players and you can also raid them. So if your neighbor wasn't nice to you, you can go there and throw some C4 on his base and shoot some rockets behind. So you can not only destroy his entire home and get rid of him, you can also take all his stuff which he stored in his base and put it safely into your base, or you continue with the next neighbor or eliminate a clan you don't like. But be careful, you can also always get raided even if you're offline. For this case, Facepunch has developed an app that warns you on a smartphone if someone surprises you. So if you're watching an episode of your favorite show on Netflix and you get a notification on your smartphone that you're getting attacked, you can log in into your base and defend it against the intrusers with everything you have. Rust is a game with unbelievable amounts of adrenaline. Even after over 1000 hours in Rust, every time I get into a fight, I get an adrenaline rush. And if you win the fight and get the loot home, you can sleep better than any time before. You can spend hundreds of hours in Rust without getting bored. Especially because the server's getting wiped monthly, so you start at the beginning every month. But don't get scared, it sounds much worse than it actually is. Every player loves it if at the beginning of the month everyone has to play with bow and arrow and have to acquire everything slowly. At the end of the month, everyone is fully equipped and it wouldn't make much fun to continue playing. Because of that, most of the players are looking forward for the wipe and at the beginning of the month, the player numbers are really exploding. But every beginning is hard, especially in Rust. So I'm gonna upload guides and tips and tricks videos. So make sure to subscribe and like and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye!